in this first hand of section of this course will be start with the basic of WebAssembly API that being the standard JavaScript browser API for loading and loading compiled WebAssembly file or was I am mentioned in the last lesson that I will start by using this online WASM Fedor tool and the reason for this that we don't necessarily at this point want to concern ourselves too much with the process of compiling C code to WebAssembly instead of WASM Fiddle, we will complete this for us and then allow us to easily download and compile file for use in our local HTML page will cover complication once we start with Emscripted. So we've navigated to WASM Fiddle, you will see the C code be compiled here and the resulting WAT or WebAssembly text format in page here. The JavaScript to load the compiled WAT inside the WASM fiddle to here and the result of loading the while inside WASM fiddle here now that you concern yourself with too much as we will loading the code in our own HTML page this year isn't quite a standard browser experience. Some bits get declared in the background we will manually using the left panes of the Tool. Although our first version, I will keep up the standard C library provided here. This being the C's typical static function main, which will right now does not give nothing more than return an integer of 42. Click on build and click on wasm to download the file. Move the program dot wasm file downloaded to the our public directory in the WebAssembly site. Head on to our index.html inside this clip. Now we can finally write the JavaScript, download it, and initialize the WebAssembly module. Type WebAssembly.initiate streaming. Inside that, we will fetch our location of our WASM module, which is class program.wasm. And this method returns a promise and we will resolve with the end callback function on we can access the WASM module. Restart the server reload our web page and go to the dev tools and now you realize there is an uncaught type error which is failed to execute our web assembly because of incorrect mind type and now if you are not getting this error that means express is adding correct mind type in the next version of express from that we are using and at this point you won't need to make any changes but i specially wanted to point this out this mind type requirement is only a requirement when you're using new initiate string method. Older methods of loading a wasm into the browser didn't have this requirement. I have a link to the Mozilla document on the various loads of them and should you have to leave a lead. So with that we will have to manually set the correct mind type on our server for wasm file. Again if you are not getting this error you will likely have a newer version of express you won't need to do these changes. But still it's important to be aware of this requirement. Back to the server we all we need to add an option object to the static call set header with the parameter is a function argument response being the request path set all we are going to do that to do in this function is check update content type header of wasm and paths and with the dot wasm and now restart the server go back to the browser now you are not getting that error and a good option will be go to the network tab and disable caching in the network tab and in the sources you can see the wasm is ready and in console log it's written wasm ready which we want it and so in the next lesson we will see how to access the module exports and call the main function from our javascript